Hello and welcome to Further Afield, a project which discusses and explores art and disability in rural spaces. My name is Bella Milroy. I'm a disabled artist based in my hometown of Chesterfield in North Derbyshire. And Further Afield is a project produced in collaboration between myself and Level Centre, who are a rurally based Arts Council England National Portfolio Organisation in Rosely, Derbyshire, just down the road from me. The project consists of a series of interviews with disabled artists, as well as research into the experiences of disabled artists in rural settings. It seeks to promote their work and learn about the ways of making and producing art that aren't always offered the space or recognition that it deserves. All further afield interviews are available to watch on the Level Centre website and an audio podcast version will also be available to listen to. There will be transcripts of all conversations. Go to levelcentre.com for more information about the project, access and the contributing artists. Further Afield is a project supported by Arts Council England, Level Centre, Shape Arts, Derbyshire Libraries, Harlem Art Space, Arts Derbyshire and Wising Arts Centre. So just for a short visual description for, you, for our um, audiences, um, my pronouns are she, her, they, them. And for my visual description, I am a white woman in my early 30s with an oval face and round cheeks. I have pale white skin with short brown hair and round glasses. I am also working from home, where behind me there's a grey sofa, a lamp, some cushions and a stack of shelves and drawers in the background. There may also be some dogs and a cat wandering around from time to time. <laughs> so today, so today, I have with me Grace Curry, um, uh, who is a wonderful artist based in Baschurch in rural Shrop Shropshire. Um, I'm going to just invite Grace to do a short visual description before I introduce her work. Um, yes, I am Grace Curry and I'm wearing a brown dress and I am a white person with no glasses on and with curl curly hair. Brilliant. That's great, Grace. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm just going to give a short introduction of Grace's work before oh, yeah. we begin uh, our interview. So Grace Curry works in mediums of paint, clay, video and performance. Um, her bio reads as follows. She feels that her social identity as a disabled woman reduces her in some people's eyes to child status, an identity she resists but draws attention to in her childlike portraits of figures or faces. By paring down her portraits and self-portraits self into simple shapes, she shows how people's complex identity gets simplified. In 2022, she was one of the 31 deaf, disabled and neurodivergent artists to take part in the DASH award-winning project, We Are Invisible, We Are Visible, a national event in recognition of the 102nd anniversary of the first Dada International Exhibition of Surreal and Strange Artworks. Grace performed a piece of work entitled Put Away Neatly at Home yeah. Gallery in Manchester. This piece explored the repeated words and phrases that can be uttered by the people who have our best interests at heart, but which often have the cumulative impact of keeping us safe, tidy yeah. and silent. Yeah. Grace is currently working towards a solo exhibition in 2024. So... Grace, thank you so much for joining me today. It's really wonderful to have you with us. Um, I was so excited to come across your work and um, uh, yeah, share your really vibrant and varied practice with this programme. So yeah, it's a pleasure to have you here. You're welcome. Yeah. How, how are you doing? Um, I'm okay, fine, I am. Great. Maybe you could we could start off by you just telling us a little bit about your work and what you're up to at the moment. I'm working on on portraits and big people. Amazing. Hidden, hidden women. Oh wow, that's that sounds so cool. Hidden women. Down there. It's a hidden, it's a hidden woman. Are there are there oh, hidden well. women in, in particular that you're drawn to? Oh, are we getting some example pieces? Yes, uh... Wow, that looks amazing. 
So for our audiences, Grace has just held up a really like abstract painting. It's kind of purples and reds and lots of kind of splashes of colours. Is that one of the hidden women drawings, Grace? Yeah, there is. Wow. Some hidden women in there. Can you tell me uh, what hidden women means to you? To say people mostly hidden on mostly hidden on silence, yeah. Most yeah. Of it. Um, I resent that. I, I I find that very, very unattractive, I do. And a very un um, um what was it? What word was it? I don't know. I don't know. Not not acceptable. I don't find it very acceptable. I don't either. And is that something that you draw on your own experience of? Yes, it does. Yeah. Thank you so much, Grace. That's such a a brilliant introduction to your current practice at the moment I'm really looking forward to seeing more of those hidden women that sounds yeah. great <laughs> yeah. um so maybe we could uh talk a little bit about where you live um do you, what's what's Baz Church like Baz is lovely it's got one one doctor's and just got a from over there and a shop and two baths and two two pubs yeah. And and do you like living there? I do. It's nice and quiet for me for my, for my when I go to bed. Nice no no disturbs me. Nice. <laughs> and and do you think that Baz Church affects your work in any way? Does it in, does it yeah, tell me about that. No, it doesn't. I'm 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 always in here with my music. I'm always in here with loud music. I am. Ah, and that, you're talking. You're talking about your studio. I'm a studio. Yeah, is is that where you're talking to me from today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Tell me a bit about your studio. How do you like to work? Then you say you like loud music. Yeah, too. What kind of music do you like to listen to? Um, rock, mostly. Nice. So maybe you're like one of the loud ones in the village. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um nice and how ha- like um are there uh any oh maybe I can move on to the next question now I think so um you recently exhibited work in the Shrewsbury Art Trail yes I did what was that like um It was quite. It was a oh, well as well as stairs. It was so it was very, was very stable family. It wasn't really. It wasn't. Oh, which I'm not like it is. Yeah. Walk in my shoes. It's called walk in my shoes. Oh, okay. Yes, that is very ironic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry that that wasn't a very positive experience for you. No, not really. Did they um were they able to make any adjustments for you or? No, it wasn't. No, I didn't. That's really disappointing. Yes. What was your It's about um. Is is this the work that you showed? It's about copies. Yeah. It's really big painting. It is. And it's all shoes. All the Martins. What 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 does the piece? Those are the only shoes I can wear now. Because I used to wear loads loads of other shoes. I did. Yeah. Lots of flats. Lots of it. Because some heels I did. Yeah. And and what does I've what got does splints on? I have. I've got splints. Oh, you've got splints, right? Okay. Um, so is the piece exploring that in that way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. And um, 
do you think that has maybe impacted um how you feel connected to other art events happening near you is that put you off or um no I mean I don't take everything I do I mean it's it's their problem right yes. <laughs> yeah it's my, my, my foot my, my foot's problem it's not your foot's problem <laughs> so maybe we could move on to the next question um yeah. I'm really interested in how your work um explores subverting society's expectations of disabled people. Can you can you tell me about a bit more about that? Is that cl- yeah? What does subverting mean? So um you yeah. are a bit like you were saying earlier how um you re- reject the i like the childlike uh, impression that people have of you yeah. um and a lot of your work is like a big sexual yeah tell me about that well sexualization because i i love i love that that idea of stuff i do and i love and and is that something that you is, is I like to, really, I want to explore that I do yeah that's I think that's really wonderful to be able to celebrate that as part of your um selfhood as a an, an adult person yeah, I think yeah. yeah that's wonderful and I'm not a child that's what I'm trying to make people think I'm not a child yeah yeah I wasn't born I wasn't born disabled either. I went I went to six form college I did. And then when in the end in my final year, I came on head I did by a car. Yeah. I was walking down the road. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the car hit me I did. But I knew, I knew who there was. I've got a conversation with my dad as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not wrong, there wasn't. Yeah. Gosh, thank you so much for sharing that with me, Grace. Um, maybe you could tell me a little bit more about some of your uh, art personas that you take on. Like you just described there, being like sex is something that inspires your work. Sexy what about the sexy artist you describe yourself as the sexy artist what does that mean <laughs> it means i am i just am yeah from chess i was chess unit this this is my that's my degree show this is great this one, one piece it is and is that one of the really big ones? Yeah, it's one of the really big ones. It's like that it is. Amazing. So what, what else? What other pictures did you do through your brain? Was it exploring your, you being a, a, a woman? And yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. Just for the audiences, Grace is just holding up um, a copy of one of her large-scale paintings um, that shows a figure with large breasts and hips and also perhaps some period blood and the face is like blocked out in yeah. red yeah yeah and and so um yeah the sexy artist is like um a kind of a ser- like your my, my, my persona yeah your persona um and does that like does that make you feel good to be able to like uh, take on that identity for yourself to yeah nice um, um, it makes me feel powerful amazing I feel very powerful it does that's so cool I think we all want to find ways of uh feeling powerful don't we <laughs> yeah we do amazing and and what about the magic artist? That's another name you refer yeah, to yourself as. Magic artist is what is it? I don't know. It's just one of one of the words that Stu came up with. 
He just like telling you to stop it. Yeah, yeah. But why do you feel like you're magic? Because I I make everything magic. I don't. <laughs> is that something? Do you feel like making art is magic? Yes. Yeah. And do you feel like that? Um, you make art for yourself and then also for audiences as well. Do you like yeah. that kind of the yeah. whole magic that comes with that? I do. Yeah. I do. That's really nice. Do you think you'll con- continue to find different names for yourself as you as your career grows? I think I will. But uh, magic arts and, and sexy arts is the ones that stick with us. Amazing. I really like those. I think they're really cool names. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe you could tell me a little bit more about, um, you studied in Chester. I did. So maybe you could share with me a few of like um, some of the positives about where you live that, in terms of um, how that f- supports your work. Is there a lot of space for you to... Yeah, um, there's a lot of space, there is. Okay, I'm going to put one in here because you're in the studio. Yeah, I am a studio, I don't know where I am now. It's wonderful. It's really, yeah. I'm I'm very envious, Grace. And I get really, to work really with cool. Jamila and the Cube. Jamila is my, Jamila is my friend, she is. I employ her. Oh, okay. She She works with me on speech, she does. Wonderful. And is that someone, is she locally? Yes, she is. And is that through another arts organisation that yeah. put you in touch? Yeah, it is. Called, called The Cube? Yeah, called The where, Cube. Where are they based? In Ossestry. In where, sorry? Ossestry. Ossestry. Where, where is that? Down the road. Oh, okay. Somewhere in Shropshire. Right. North Shropshire. And do you get a lot of support from them in general? It's a small town, it is. Yeah. Do they're very supportive, yeah. And do they support um other artists with disabilities? Or... Yeah, they do. I think yeah. so. I think so. Yeah, they do. That's really great to know that something like that exists in those spaces because um, yeah. that's one of the gaps, isn't it, a lot of the time in, in more yeah. remote spaces like that. Yeah, yeah hello. That's wonderful. And and do you like collaborating with Jamila? Yeah, I do. What do what's working with her like? It was lovely. She just came here, she did, but then I got my cat and she didn't like my cat. She didn't like cats, she didn't. Oh, no. You know, and then we cube then we did. And do you um have plans to work with her on any particular work at the moment? No, nothing nothing like that. Nothing nothing special. Yeah. It's just something that she helps you with yeah. in lots of different ways. Yeah. What are some of the oh. I know with the people that help me with my work um it's really wonderful to have that help isn't it but sometimes it's it's really hard yeah it's a bit frustrating yeah can you tell me a bit about what having help is like with making art oh is this a photo of you holding up this sculpture of a cat yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that is a cat oh wow amazing i think i've seen this photo it's really cool <laughs> yeah so we have to find together. and so it's fine to get to do the way I wanted it. Um, is sometimes is is that really like a bit of a battle sometimes? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and I imagine that kind of flows in with those other feelings around being feeling like you're being like a child when yeah. you're an adult. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> and what are some of the really brilliant things about having help is that allowed you to pursue your career in a different way yes it has that's brilliant that's great that's exactly what help should do right yes yeah 
Yes. I I want an application from the Arts Council to tell me just for projects for social workers. And and are you are you waiting on the results of that? No. We're waiting, we're gonna come soon. Oh, I really hope that's successful. Yeah. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed for you. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna carry on asking questions. Um so you you talked a little bit about Baz Church. Um, maybe you could tell me like what are some of the good things about where you live as an artist? You said Cube was helpful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was. Are there any other things that you really like about where you live and and your work and how that impacts your work? I've got space. I've got love space. I have to be creative. That's wonderful. Does does Cube connect you with other artists locally? It does. And. I do workshops, I do. Oh, great. Workshops. And does that help you feel more connected to your... And I have exhibited work, I have, at the Cube. Brilliant. That's such a great space. It sounds really interesting. Yeah. It's a good space. Yeah, it's a great space, it is. That's what I do all my work with Jamila. And do you think that's like a really helpful um, platform for you to exhibit work? Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, it sounds really important. Does it, um, does it help you feel more connected to other artists in your area? Yeah, it does. Probably. No, that's that's great. Um, so maybe I don't know if you if you wanted to share some of the things that um are not so good about where you live, things that maybe are lacking in how you work as an artist. Is there like? Are there are there things that you would like to have in Baz Church, for example, that don't that aren't there? <laughs> there isn't even an answer to choose me. No. Yeah. Yeah, and the travel and petrol on it, it's hard as Yeah. Travel and all the petrol on it, it's hard as I think there should be one in Shrewsbury. There should be. Yeah. Um, and and uh, is there not mu- is there like is it difficult getting public transport in Baz Church? Yeah, no, it's not difficult. It's like I have to get buses. I do. Yeah, but we, we, but I've got some PAs driving. Me, I have. Oh, okay. You have your PAs. Yeah. Um, primary, yeah. Uh, difficulty with public transport. Steps. Yeah. I have difficulties with public transport with the steps and everything. Yeah. Because my vision is a bit da- damaged. Yeah. It's getting a bit on the, on the, on the uncomfortable side. Yeah. So, I'm, yeah, I, I imagine that makes difficult. getting out difficult yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, your home studio is such a fantastic setup. What are some of the really important bits about your studio that you like are really essential? That wall. You can do big paintings in it, can't you? I mean, mass painting that I can. That's like the big, you've got like a big painting wall. Yeah, like yeah. And this wall just for, um, yeah, and, and, and looking up things, information and notes. Just looking at things, and that's that's scaled, that's scaled about there. This window, yeah. All the paints and colors. All the paints and colors. Oh, got on paints and colors. I have. Yeah. Got on my paints and colors in separate color with with them um, the color on them. 
I'm not, I don't know what, I don't know what to call that, but, um, um, but I just, those, those colours really, really help, those colours are, like, helpful. Yeah. Amazing. Being yes. organised, being organised is what yes. I Yes. Mean. Yeah. <laughs> but it is, it's so important, isn't it? It's really yes. important. It is. Very important, it is. I've got a bit of OCD, I have. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm diagnosed OCD. Yeah. In my head, I've got OCD. Yeah. Valid, valid. <laughs> I, I mean, um, what did you feel like there was a big difference in the um, studio space that you had when you were studying for your degree? Yeah. Was that? It was, it was small, it was. Oh, really? It was like teen timer. Oh wow, that's really interesting. Chester, Chester unit. So were you doing quite just, a lot? Just just rooms put, put a one piece of paper. Yeah. Put one, big, put one big thing and then just all over all a lot of things. Yeah. And and so was that actually quite um did it mean that you were still doing a lot of your work in your home studio? Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I travelled there, I did. Like yeah. Yeah. And um, are there things about studying that really um, enhanced your work? Are there, are there the elements of that, that time in your, in your career that really, like, made you think differently about the work you were making? Yeah. I mean, my students both motivates my practice, it does. That's really nice. Yeah, it did push me to do work. Yeah, it did. To get ready for your final. To get rid of my final. I've got first class degree I have. Amazing. I have first class had a fiction. That's wonderful, Grace. That's great. <laughs> yeah. No one else, no one thought I'm getting out of the gym. Um, so, rather than writing the essays, I mean, oh, how you would make videos. Yes, I I made videos. I did for essays, for and so I made, say writing it down. Yeah, so I, I made videos. I did, and and was that a really um? Did that help you with your writing? Yeah, yeah. So you didn't have to write, did you have a really? So didn't have to write. So only, 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 only the, 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 the not expecting dissertation. Yeah. I did a blog I did. I did a did video blog. Yeah, amazing. And I've seen some of your videos on your YouTube channel. They're really great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I really, I'm really um, interested in how you document your... Uh, not just your artwork, but your studio practice as well. You've got lots of videos of you in process painting and things like that. Yeah. Mm. Do you like uh, documenting the process of your work? Yeah, I do. I like I like um, putting it on um, time lapse. I do. Put on a time lapse. I do. Yeah. You work. I like what well, I, I I that's my that's my that's my thing about that is. Yeah. Do you think some of that will inform your work going forward? Do you think you might make more process based pieces in the future, or are they just separate? They're just separate. Yeah. They're really great, though. I really like them. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Oh, I've, I've skimmed over this one. This is um, maybe before we finish, you could tell me a little bit more about the performance piece put away neatly. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That you performed um, for the Dada uh, International Exhibition. Yes. I was uh, put away neatly and I got put away, I did. You got I put away. Got put all, all, and all the and all the um, hard. Cardboard. What was it? So it was it was about um about love and sport and and how kindness it was. 
bij Kim Peoples, Kim is humorous love en Kotsprobe ik me. So. Get suffocated by love, I did. Um, yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, just just for audiences, um, the the performance involved uh, Grace being wrapped up in um, uh, lots of different cardboard packaging. Is that right, Grace? Yeah, it was. Yeah, and you had two two performers wrapping you up. Is that right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, and um, you can watch some of the footage on Grace's website. I highly recommend it. It's very very good. Um, and uh, yeah, Grace turns into this huge blob of of <laughs> cardboard. Yeah, I get rolled way neatly, I do. Yeah. In the corner, so no one knows where I am. And it's something uh, that I've read about your work, exploring having 24-hour care. Yeah. And, yeah, some of the, like, really challenges of, the real challenges of that. Um, it, what other things were you hoping to uh, show in in that piece? Um, it helped people understand how I felt. It helped people understand how I felt. Yeah. Now I've got a boyfriend living with me and a cat. Billy. Yeah. Weekend, I go weekends on my own, I am. Yeah. Just do, to do wherever I want. Yeah. I have the weekends now without care. I do. I have the weekends without care, I do. Oh, wow. Is that is that really, is that quite new or is yeah. that? No, it's pretty old. Yeah, we do. A couple of years ago, yeah. I just tried that. And is that something that you really enjoy? Yeah, that is. Amazing. That's great. I think it's a really brilliant piece put away neatly. And I love the title as well. I think just that idea of you being put away, like you're no longer a person, you know, you're just an object like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And I also liked what you said about um, almost kind of being love like suffocated by love, love. Yeah. yeah I think some, um, it's a really familiar experience for lots of um, people who are disabled yeah. where like they uh, sometimes it can be loved but almost loved in the wrong way I love too much yeah yeah um, and it's really complicated isn't it yeah it is. yeah but I think you captured all of that really brilliantly in that piece. I think it's wonderful. Thank you. Do you think you will do more performance pieces in the future? I think I might do. Somebody gives me some ideas of what to do. Because my mind's because my mind's a bit um, blank at the minute. Something like spark an idea. Well, someone might spark an spark, 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 spark an idea. They might. Yeah. Are you feeling like you need some some new inspiration in your work? Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's tough when that happens, isn't it? What? Just wondering if you want to talk about the home gallery and how you volunteer there. Oh, I have one home gallery I do in Manchester. Which is more oh, travel. cool. It's more travel it is. But yeah. the new, well, the new road's not come on yet. I don't know when I can be working there. What what kind of volunteering do you do? Um, watch watch films mostly. Do you nice. Great people coming in. I think. Yeah, I do great people. Great people coming in and, and things. Just watch movies after that. I do as well. Free movies. Amazing. That sounds the great. Yeah. yeah, I did. It helps the gay pride flags I did as well. Nice. I created my did. Oh, that's so cool. That sounds great. And um, that's really nice to feel like you have those connections beyond where you live like that. Yeah. 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 
I think that's like often quite important for artists who don't live in um central spaces to like have those have those kinds of connections yeah yeah do you um do you hope to have more of those in the future like beyond Manchester or yeah I do yeah that's great okay I think just just a couple more questions and then I think we should finish so what do you think our organizations could do differently to better support you Opportunity is to get more more clearly of closer things that has social events and social events as well for other artists. So, so like things to network and connect yeah. with others. Yeah, in person though. Yeah. What is your age? I would, I would like to meet more artists my age. I would. Yes. I don't know where they are though. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's really hard. It's definitely a barrier that I face in terms of um in per- that in person, you know, in person connection like that is really difficult. If especially if you don't live close by other people, it's not, I suck. if you don't live locally. Yeah, if it's locally, it's the right word. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think something like um? say for example cube where you you yeah yeah, like maybe something like they could put on social events where they could invite different artists to come in yeah i think so something like that yeah yeah that sounds great i'd love to come can i come (laughs) (laughs) let's make it happen i'd really like that yeah yeah you're the first one to invite. <laughs> oh, such a such an he, honor. He's getting he's getting um, he's getting, um something to do with each other. Yeah. We get we get um, the cube to, to agree with the way I would do. Yeah, let's let's get on it. That'd be great. <laughs> Keep in shoes, bro. Yes. Also strength. <laughs> and maybe we could just finish off, just tell me something. Tell me some of the things that you love about being an artist. I love the freedom and I come in here and do paintings. And I can express them to write anything down, I can. Mm. Like I've just been doing with um, the cube with um, in Manchester. Yeah, there's something really really special about like you say being able to express yourself without words like that yeah oh that's great that's that's really wonderful grace thank you so much um yeah thank you so much for for joining me and being a part of this series it's been so wonderful to to talk to you and uh find out more about your practice what excites you and inspires you and um yeah uh it's been wonderful thank you